Our next set all locked and loaded, and these guys in winner semis are going to be Jay Wiz versus Mata Hyphen. So Jay Wiz, a player that I've been starting to pay more attention to in the last couple of weeks. I've heard that he had a good showing at the Arcadian. I didn't follow the Arcadian that well, unfortunately. I was out of town, and there's so many Smash Bros. to keep up with. But I hear the names. I've been checking the brackets, and I've been watching the play. Jay Wiz has been impressing me, especially after a win against um, Jerry earlier in the bracket, who actually won the Arcadian, and is likely one of the, one of our ranked players next season. So another step is going to be Matador, because he's another very consistent player out here in NBA. Oh, can you still make that? Okay, so we're really just out here. All right, if that's indicative of how the set's going to go, I'm going to like it. I'm going to like it. I don't even know how. Oh, he spiked him, and then he fast fell too much. That was kind of hype. That was kind of hype. So now, essentially, even game. So Jay was going to start back with the squirrel, give a solid combo. Put Going to put him at about 50%. The matter is answering back. Excellent confirm, getting the down tilt off the nail on the platform. And one of the nice things about Squirtle being so small is that it's hard to um, really hit him from the air, but he's so small and so light, that part almost killing at 106%. So now Jay Wiz essentially has to switch, but yes, I like that. Tether recoveries have less tangibility when they snap to the leg. So Mador recognizing that says, if you don't press something immediately, I'm going to hit you for it. And that'll, that's enough to kill. Excellent matchup awareness in that game. Okay, but Charizard, big guy, he's combo food. I like the um, option of playing Charizard right now because he needs to kind of stop the bleeding and get a big hit there and early kill. But the problem is, even though he can get that early kill, you're still liable to get comboed and blown up a little bit. The Matador, keeping it, um, what's it, what do I call it? He's keeping the race at a distant pace, so to speak. He's still getting hit, but he's getting the hits that he needs so that his lead isn't really offset. Okay. Nice coverage right there for Jay Wiz. Using the um, Razor Leaf into the Vine Whip to force out an option. But Jay Wiz doesn't have a jump. Oh, and hits him right back. Hits him with the Buenos DS and... Another one? No, he's just going to find that back air instead and just playing ping pong from side to side across the stage. Jay Wiz not having many opportunities to play and he's not going to get one this game as Matador closes the door and goes up. One zero. All right, so in terms of counter picks, um, uh, I feel like PT has enough options to make almost any stage work, but go to Smashville, the ultimate fight me stage, square up stage, and see what you're made of stage. And I think one of the reasons why you might want this is just so that there's less opportunities for Matador to run away and build up loft. That wasn't really what happened anyway. Matador just got a game man. But, I mean, having less room to kind of run around, force more interactions, I, maybe that's just where Jay Wiz feels confident. All right, this could be some big damage. Oh, but good DI from Matador, only getting two four airs instead. And then up to it. Man, the range on that is pretty ridiculous. I like to see some hitbox visualizations of that sometimes. And it's like, actually, something interesting about Wario is that whenever he eats something, his fart charges slightly faster. Um, I don't know the exact numbers on it. I feel like it's like a second or two for something he, or everything he eats. But it kind of adds up. And there's going to be a re-grab. I like that. Yes, excellent patience. But now, can Jay Wiz find his way back? Because the ledge of pressure from Matador, we saw it in the last game, but this game's out full force. And that was the latest hitbox I've ever seen. Jay Wiz looking a little confused on that one. All right, but now it goes back to Squirtle. Gets his combo. Gets him out of that window where Squirtle likes his opponents to be. Like, once once your um, opponent's around, like, 60 to 70, you can swap off Squirtle. Your job's done. Get that Ivysaur in there for some zoning. Get some Charizard in there for some kill power. That's exactly what Jay Wiz is doing. 
Matter of staying alive. Tries to roll off the ledge. Gonna do some damage from the uh, flamethrower, but they was fighting for it there. Good stuff. Getting that stock off. Stopping the bleeding soon, too. Alright. Dang, that one hurts. And using the platform re to reset himself and gets that kill. That was a clean opportunity recognition from Matador. Recognizing what he can get and running with it all the way to the bank. Why do I feel like he's about to do something wild? Yep. Yep. And he actually doesn't even get punished for that too hard because Ivysaur is not that fast. And he's, Matador has the airspeed to just to sneak under the stage and find his way out of dodge. And this is looking like end game strats right now. Jay was still fighting back though. He's gonna need to land uh, Vine Whip pretty deep off stage ever since they nerfed it. I feel like it doesn't have the same quite explosive kill power that it used to. Yeah, see? Well, that one did sweet spot though. Um, this is gonna be a re grab again. The matter of committing really hard to that. Gets that B reverse bite though. And the recovery from Jay Wiz have been great, but I mean, you can recover all you want, but if it doesn't happen on stage, it's not going to happen anywhere else as Matador takes the set 2-0. Pretty convincingly, I do say so myself.